Hey y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today we're gonna do a paint pouring that uh, the color palette was inspired, uh, in inspired me uh, from that I saw on Pinterest. So uh, let me get set up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. I have four colors of paint here that I've already mixed with my Liquitex. I have got a, a light ivory. I needed a lighter color, but I did not want to go with white this particular time. But I've got light ivory. I also have spice brown. And let's see, I have, this one is called it's, uh, Sea Mist. I've used that on a lot of things. I really like this color. And then I've got this Mississippi, Mississippi Mud, which is a darker, darker brown. I have already put my, like I said, mixed my paints with uh, my Liquitex. I'm gonna add to, um, I'm gonna add just a couple of drops of the oil. This is just the lubricant, treadmill belt lubricant. And I'm only adding just a couple of little drops here to each of the colors. Now I encourage you all to try, 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 try new things, try what I'm doing, what somebody else is doing. I'm trying something different myself today. Uh, you know how you get things in your mind. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we're gonna give it a, a whirl. Instead of doing a dirty pour, I'm gonna pour each of these colors, uh, each of these colors separately. And I think I wanna turn my canvas this way but let me make double sure that I've got everything in the frame. I'm gonna start, I believe this is the spice brown. And I'm gonna just start, I'm gonna pour it in little circles, which it won't have a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, dimension, because at this point, because it is just the single color. But I'm just wanna pour, I don't wanna just pour straight, straight, straight lines. Something jumped in there on that one. about three quarters of the way down on my canvas. And 
in some spots at least. <laughs> For this bottom half, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna start down this direction. I like multi-directional, I have found. And I wanna make sure I got all the edge there. Okay, now for my experimentation time. I'm gonna tilt this just a bit. I wanna get, you know, get it started and get my, get my corners for sure started. Okay, I'm gonna see if this, uh, oh, pooey, mess that up. If this will work, I'm gonna take just a regular, regular hair dryer I'm gonna have it on, I guess that will. I'm gonna tilt this down because I don't want it to head towards anything it doesn't need to head towards. Again, had a minor mal malfunction here. dryer set on cool. And like I said, it's just a regular old hair dryer.
I've got some little areas here. I had a little malfunction. I blew a breaker, so I had to pause for a second, which probably wasn't a great thing because you're putting the heat on it. Your first of all, your paint is going to <laughs> start setting up a little quicker. See if we can add just a little more here. There we go. I didn't want that, that clumpy look because it was really starting to work on it there. Again, I did have the dryer set on, on the cool setting. I think we can't get a little more movement right here. I've switched it to this is again this is just a regular hair dryer not a, a heat torch or anything this is just regular regular hair dryer that may or may not get used on hair again uh, I'm gonna add put some heat I turn the hair dryer to the heat setting and I want to put a little heat on this since we had our oil see what kind of still not like I have that a few little cells to pop out. We've got some coming on up here. Now I need to check out this little area here. I got a lot of paint. I'm still not, you know, again, so experiment, experiment, experiment. Name of the game. And I had a good bit of paint right here that went off my Canvas a little faster than I wanted, so we're gonna add it back in there, and then I'm going to not put any heat back on it, but I'm just gonna let that little bit that we added back, just let it naturally run, because that way you're gonna get the, while they're not natural, but <laughs> you're gonna get the little cells and swirls and things that, that look so cool in fluid painting. really gumped up on me and I'm not happy with that but I think we can it's still it we still have movement going so it's not a bad thing and I still have plenty of paint here as luck would have it I want all my edges and corners done. I think I've got them all covered. 
Anyway, this is the palette. Like I said, I just found something on Pinterest, uh, the color palette that inspired me. I like these colors. Um, this is a straight pour with manipulating the canvas and trying a hair dryer on it. Feel free to be to do just a straight dirty pour with these colors because I think this is it's a really pretty color palette. I like how this this is my favorite part of it right through here. Uh, here I would have liked to have had a little more mixture, but you know who knows maybe that gives it that little extra bit of character. So anyway, there we have it. So I hope you'll give it a try. Well, hey guys, hopefully if you try this project with a hair dryer, you won't blow a breaker like I did, but everything's back up and running, so all is good. Anyway, thanks guys for uh, stopping by. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them, and thank you so much for sharing and liking, and thank you subscribers, and hey, you new guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you'll subscribe too. Thanks, have a great day.